it's very easy to get stuck in these pajama pants or sweatpants because they are very comfortable, especially when you are a stay-at-home parent, stay-at-home wife. So I'm talking about wives, stay-at-home wives especially in this video. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Brie. I'm a wife of one and mom of two. So we're going to talk about nine things you can do to look sexy for your husband. Number one, take your hygiene practices up a notch. Like, take showers. Take showers every day. See, forget about what people tell you about, oh, showering dries your skin, whatever. That is just, that's just talk because moisturizers moisturize your skin. Showering cleans your skin. Anyway, we're not talking about showering. They have videos about showering. I'm going to link them in the description. So take showers every day. Give more attention to your underarms, your butt area, your inner thighs. Use deodorants. Smell good. Take care of your oral, your oral hygiene. Brush every day. If you need to floss, floss. Use mouthwash. Then take care of your feminine area. If you need to remove hair down there, remove hair. You can use sugar wax. You can use shaving stick. I have sugar wax recipes. You can check my channel. You see different sugar wax recipes that you can make at home. That's if you don't want to. That's if you want to wax and you don't want to go to the spa. You can make sugar wax. That's what I do. I make it at home and I use it to wax under arms, bikini area. So that's another thing you can do. But if, if sugar wax is not your jam, that's fine. You can use shaving stick. You can use hair removal cream. You can even go as, as far as using laser if you can afford that. I don't know how expensive whatever but that's not the point anyway so take care of your area and also make sure you rinse your your feminine area just to get rid of discharge leftover pee smell and also after after bedroom time for your partner make sure you are rinsing down there and just keeping it clean then take care of your skin moisturize exfoliate you can exfoliate your skin at least once a week you can't, I can't tell you to do it three times a week or two times a week because sometimes you get caught up in other things and you might not think about it. So at least once a week, exfoliate your skin. You can just mix coffee grounds with honey. That's like the best scrub I've used in my life. Mix that with honey. After taking a shower, a warm shower, exfoliate your whole body with it. The good thing about it is that you can use it on your face and your body. So use that, exfoliate, exfoliate your skin, rinse it off after several minutes moisturize your skin and your skin will feel soft and smooth then wear makeup when, when you're at home you don't need to wear heavy makeup the heavy the makeup i wear at home is eye pencil this you see here and lip balm sometimes i use lip gloss but when i have to make a video then i have to wear foundation and all that but at home it's eyeliner and lip balm so just do just that just accentuates your just shows your eyes because it makes my eyes less sleepy anyway that's why i like to wear eyeliners then don't skimp on fragrance use all your body sprays your body spritz that's another thing that makes you smell good around your your guy so back and body works they have several fragrances you can try victoria's secret has them too and I don't know if you prefer essential oils. I don't, really, I don't really like to use essential oils directly on my body because they're quite strong. You need to dilute them with something. But aside from that, you can just use regular body spritz and you smell good at home. Then talking about the pajama pants, toss the pajama pants for goodness sake. Just <laughs> I know they're very comfortable, but there are other things you can wear at home too look nice you can wear a crop top with shorts you can buy these matching sets these lounge wears matching sets some of them come with shorts some of them come with pants they're very cute but well i don't i don't really buy those matching sets because i don't really dig them like that but i know they look good on lots of people so you can try that but if you don't want to do any of that you can wear a small a small skirt with a tank top at home a with a cami top crop top Whatever you want to wear, don't, don't ever think you're too old to wear a crop top. Currently wearing a crop top. This. <laughs> I got this on thread up. So you can wear that. Those little things that show skin, make you look good and look girly or feminine. You wear that and it shows skin to your partner. Anyway, that's the point. Just look nice and show skin. Then for bedtime, you wear sexy nightwear. What's it called? You can try, you can wear slips, 
lacy sleeves. I wear sleeves, that's why I wear to bed. And I also have pajama shorts, those short pajama shorts, <laughs> short pajama shorts, who says that, with cami tops. You can wear that to bed. Please, I, I, I don't wear those long sleeves, um, even if it's silk, whether it's satin, or some of you feel like, oh, it's plush, or it makes you look, um, what's it called, expensive? I don't know that, if that's the right word, but I can't sleep comfortably in long pants and long sleeve shirts. That's why I don't like those pajama stuff. Those of you that wear them, good for you. But it's not my jam. And I'm talking about looking sexy. So you need to go to bed in sexy nightwears too. And to take it up a notch, when you wear those sexy nightwears, you keep, your, keep the panty aside. Go without, just free your area. So that things can happen too. So yeah. Then touch more. That's another way to feel sexy or to connect sexily with your partner. You touch more, you kiss, you show, you show that you are still into your partner. Once in a while when you're outside, you can do a little PDA, a kiss on the cheek, a kiss on the lips, or you hold hands when walking, just connect. Like when I'm eating here with my husband and having dinner, whatever, sometimes I just lean over and kiss him on the cheek, or he kisses me, or walking up, walking on the hallway, just stop and grab <laughs> and catch a few kisses. <laughs> like kisses are already there, so just catch a few kisses. So you do that and it just helps you connect more. Then another thing you can do, especially for us stay-at-home wives, is prioritize fitness. You know, when you're at home, it's easy to just sit down and you just eat and then you just sit down and your body's not moving so much. You start gaining pounds where you don't want them to go and so prioritize fitness is it yoga you like is it pilates is it strength training like me i go to the gym three times a week i like strength training i go with my husband so it's easy for me to go and come back and have this accountability partner like oh it's time to go and then we get ready so do what works for you if you prefer yoga start yoga you can do that at home whatever you like just just prioritize fitness because when because when you start feeling good about how you look it's easy to pre to present that sexiness or to show off that sexiness and your partner can see and find you even more attractive eight get more sleep sleeping improves your mood sleeping is good for your mental health because you know when we don't sleep enough we get cranky we get moody and also lack of sleep shows on your skin it shows on your face you you have what's it called dark circles around your eyes and and also your skin does not look good because you're not resting enough so make sure you get your beauty sleep and yeah you and okay to, to even sleep more make sure you you need to get maybe add things like peppermint tea or chamomile tea to your nighttime routine I like pe pe peppermint tea, though I've not had it in a long time. For now, I just do I just do cocoa. <laughs> I like hot cocoa. I make it at home from cocoa powder and milk. So, but if you, if you don't want that extra calorie at night, just do your know, sleepy tea, green tea, some green. Tea. Yeah, there's the, there's the calf green tea. You can try that, or you just drink peppermint tea or chamomile tea. Any tea that helps you sleep throughout the night. And you can also try a heavy blanket. Like now that the weather is cold, I have this heavy blanket that I sleep with. And it just keeps me there. Like just helps me sleep throughout the night. And I wake up in the morning, I'm looking very relaxed and refreshed. And nine, last but not least, is to smile more. Life gets busy. Sometimes I feel like everything is going crazy. I will have nothing to smile about but. There are, there are lots of things. There are still some things to be grateful for. You, like yourself, you're here. You, <laughs> you're here. You have your family. You have your partner. You have, I don't know, think about things that you're grateful for and smile about them. And also, when you when you smile, you, you, you're more approachable to your partner. I'm sure you don't like it when your partner frowns or you don't like it when, or you don't like a guy that frowns. So the same goes for our partners. When, when we're frowning, we're not approachable. When they are frowning, they are not approachable. So smile more and so that you show your partner that smile that he saw the first time he met you. And 
I don't know. It just it just makes things easy, makes things lighter. Yeah, sometimes you'll still be in a mood, but the days that you're not in a mood, just just be pleasant and be nice and smile. I think that's about it. Those are nine tips or nine things you can do to look sexy for your husband. So I don't know if you want us to recap just a few things. Wear pretty clothes, toss the pajama pants, take care of your skin, take care of your, your feminine hygiene, keep your female parts clean and fresh at all times, touch more, smile, um, sleep in sexy nights, and yeah, and create opportunities for more cuddling and other <laughs> interesting bedroom activities. So be creative, do any other thing that you think would spice up things in your relationship, don't spice up your relationship. And yeah, if you have any other tips, please, any or if you have any other tips, please leave them in the comments. And if you like this video, like it. I'll be posting new videos every week. My name is Bree, in case I didn't say that at the beginning. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.